Welcome to EJ Bits. Here we have the classic Chinese cooking wok from the Weekend Chef PH. They are a Shopee store. You can purchase this exact model on their store. This is specifically not a 14 inch model. And as we can see here, this is brand new. It's flat. And we can see a bit of powder coming off when we rub our fingers. This is the factory wax to make sure that the wok doesn't rust when it comes to you. Two screws connecting the base of the wok to the beautiful wooden handle. The wok has a rounded bottom, so just be mindful whenever you place this wok on a flat surface, it will wobble around. But let me show you in a few moments how to clean the wok, how to season the wok to show you the non-stick abilities of the wok later in the video. And also we will be cooking stir-fry beef. So first we need a sponge and a bit of dish soap and we need a bit of elbow grease and you know a bit of intensity when we clean this wok. So after the initial rinse and after the initial wash, we can see here that the wok starting to change its color, right? It will turn a bit more silver. But if you run your fingers through the wok and you see this black liquid, this is still the wax, so make sure you remove it and make sure you do not cook with your wok on the first use. So just a bit more intensity when we start cleaning the wok with the green part of the sponge, the more rough side of the sponge, make sure you really, really remove that wax. After your cleaning process, we will proceed to the seasoning process. So just a final rinse, make sure the wok completely dries out and we are ready to go to the stove. Make sure maximum heat and we put our dried, make sure it's dry, your wok on top of the stove. And this will sit here for more than 10 minutes, up to 20 minutes, and just wait for the colors to change again. This is the first initial change of color. It might turn blue for some, it might turn a bit more silver for some. As we can see here, we need to heat the wok on all sides, all sides. And let's just be patient with this process. This will take more than 10 minutes. And just make sure that you have maximum heat. If you don't have this type of burner, make sure that you at least try your best to you know, have the heat set at maximum. Make sure that all sides of the wok, including this small metal part before the handle, just so that that part also gets you know, the factory seal removed. A bit of canola oil and start rubbing the wok with this canola oil, with tissue. Tissue and chopsticks, just so that I don't burn myself if you do use your fingers. And we just need to do this until we cover the entire wok with canola oil. This process seems easy, but remember this is just the first time initial setup. You don't need to do this anymore, you know, after this initial process. We just need to make sure that the wok is covered in canola oil. This will be its, you know, non-stick surface, the non-stick, you know, coating that we will put on top of the wok. Maximum heat again and just a bit more canola oil and we are rubbing it with tissue. And we just need to continue this process just a bit longer. We can repeat this for a few times, two to three times. Sometimes some people do it five times just so that we have a nice non-stick cooking surface for this wok. So just a few more moments, just a bit of patience. We will move on to our egg test to see if the wok actually stays non-stick. We will cook stir-fry beef also. So this is the final product of the wok. It looks completely different from when it first arrived here. And now let's move on to the egg test. Chinese cooking involves a bit more oil than usual, and that's so that the food doesn't stick to your carbon steel wok. So the carbon steel wok, you know, it doesn't come non-stick. You need to season it. But after that, as we can see right here, the egg doesn't stick. And we will find out if the egg swirls around. We just need to release it from the wok, you know, make sure that it's high heat so that, you know, the egg doesn't stick. And as we can see here, the egg releases itself from the pan, from the wok. And as we can see, yeah, it swirls around non-stick. Amazing. Now let's move on to something more serious. We will be cooking stir-fry beef with bell peppers, carrots, beef, you know, onions, and leeks. So let's get started. So here we have our marinated beef with a bit of cornstarch, soy sauce, oyster sauce, and a bit of sesame oil. And we are just frying this up on our wok. Again, just a few droplets of oil or a few milliliters of oil. And we just need to have this beef a bit brown. We don't want to overcook the beef. And the browning means flavor, so no color, no flavor, right? So as we can see here, we are now ready to set aside that beef and we are now stir-frying some onions. 
no problem here. It's still very simple, but as we can see, we have white button mushrooms, very special mushrooms. These are fresh mushrooms also from Baguio. So mushrooms from Baguio, perfect combo for this stir fry beef. And as we can see here, nothing sticks, right? Nothing sticks. Just make sure you set your stove to its highest setting. Unfortunately, you cannot use an induction cooker for this carbon seal wok because of the surface, right? It's a rounded bottom surface, but you can definitely use a gas stove for this. Once the mushrooms have browned, put your garlic in, the white part of the spring onions, and we are now ready to stir fry again. The stir frying process, you will get used to it. The carbon steel wok is a bit heavy, but once you get used to it or once you start working out, right, it won't be as difficult. We have our bell peppers here and now we will start adding our carrots and just a few more stir frying, right? This dish doesn't take too long to make just a little over eight minutes and now we add our beef back in we add a bit of cooking wine just for the fire effect right just like the restaurants do and we are stir frying again so this wok tossing you know is really good it adds this nice smoky flavor to your cooking and after this recipe we are done and we are ready to serve i will just show you a very quick fried rice recipe with turmeric and that's it for today's video overall thoughts initial thoughts on this wok very good it's nice and non-stick just make sure to keep using the wok so that you know it doesn't lose that seasoning because when it loses its seasoning you just have to start over with the cleaning process you have to start seasoning again but if you keep using your wok that's how you maintain the wok to use it for a very long time now we have our very simple fried rice recipe with a bit of chicken oil, a bit of onions. This is These are white onions and also longanisa. And we just need to stir fry this just for a little moment, just for a little moment. Fire action is always needed for that nice smoky flavor. Here we have the turmeric powder and celery, a bit of garlic and we add our egg. And we just need to stir fry this in. No, no need to overcook the egg too much. And we need to add our rice as soon as possible so that we don't you know have rubbery eggs so this is day old rice no nasa caldero pa and as we can see here it's almost done the rice almost finished we just have a bit of this solid egg we just need to break that up just a bit and we are almost done with this recipe overall thoughts about this wok after cooking three different dishes including the egg it's really good it's a, it's a really nice wok very nice and hefty sturdy also and the design is just very simple right and the handle is just nice to touch it's not hot at all and here we have our delicious fried rice recipe that's all for today's video thank you so much for joining us for today don't forget to hit the like button subscribe and hit the notification bell that's all thank you for watching